you know, I love traveling. Uh, what I do for a living and what my wife does for a living, we're entertainers. So I've been around the world probably three or four times. Um, I've been everywhere from Lebanon to Vietnam to Santorini, Greece, the Mediterranean. Um, you've been to Europe? You know, and um, every place has something very special that you can't find anywhere else. I don't care where you go. So even the worst place you think in the world has something special you can't find somewhere else. So I love it. Uh, one of my favorite places, obviously, is Mexico. I come here a lot. I absolutely love Mazatlan. Um, it is like this beautiful diamond in the rough, and we just love it here. So we're here in Mazatlan, um, specifically El Cid, because there are so many different things that you can do here. Uh, from dining to uh, beach activities, uh, laying by the pool, going to the beach, uh, all the activities, and we're here because we are on our honeymoon and we're celebrating getting married, which we just did a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I love El Cid because the cool thing with El Cid is not only do they have resorts here, they have resorts everywhere. In Cozumel, Cancun, here, even within Mazatlan, the greatest thing, we can have dinner here at the marina where we're staying at, but then we can go over to the Golf and Country Club, have dinner over there, or just down the beach and go to one of their other resorts. And the cool thing about that is you can bump resort to resort, but you're staying within the same resort, El Cid. So we love it here. You can also go down the street and do some parasailing, go fishing, take a yacht out, go for a sunset cruise or on a catamaran. So we love it here. And like I said, you don't even have to leave the resort and we're here the whole week and you feel like it's totally inclusive. You can't beat it. For me, I love the concierge service, meaning if I want to go to the front desk, have dinner, go somewhere to another restaurant off property, the staff here take care of you 100%, 24-7, 100%. They're always at your beck and call, they're always nice, they love what they do, and they just make you feel like you're king and queen here. Like, I just absolutely love it. One of my favorite things here at El Cid uh, is definitely the endless margaritas. And then I'd have to say uh, the spa was wonderful. Uh, we had great massages the other day and they really customized the massage for your individual needs. Light pressure for him, deep pressure for me. Yeah, <laughs> and I love it. The fact also I love too is that, you know, if you like one pool, have an adult only, if you just own a little quiet time to read a book and just kind of have time by yourself. If you bring the kids, there's a great kids area with a slide and all the food they can eat and have a great time and meet new friends. So you have this really cool section area where you can be kind of an adult, kind of hang for a minute and then half the day you can go take the kids and have them run around with new friends. So we love it. The greatest thing about being here at El Cid in Mazatlan is the fact that at nighttime, at least when we're here right now, between like 5.30 and 7, the sunset, you can't find a better sunset in the world. You get a margarita in the bar, you sit on a couple lounge chairs by the beach, the ocean water's coming and you watch the sunset go down, you can't find that anywhere else with the accommodation, with the service and the classless resort. The great thing with El Cid, the reason if you're thinking about coming here to Mazatlan, just do it. Book it, do it, come down here. And because the greatest thing was you don't really know what you're getting into in the sense of you think it's just a beach, you think it's just food, it's everything. When you come here, you have everything at your beck and call. It's not like other places where you gotta go to a hotel, book the room and then go book a dinner thing somewhere else and then pay for a tax and then do all this. This is all in one. You pay one price, you get it all and it's the best. Of course, yeah, I'll do it right now. Right. Can you help me in a second? I need you to pick a card in a minute. Okay. But you have to stay there, it's fine. So I got a regular deck card from uh, one of the casinos I used to play at in Vegas. They're all different cards, you guys can see that. Pretty simple. And if we do this like this, we're gonna cut the deck a few times. All right, Tim, so I was gonna cut it once, twice, three times like that. And um, what is a good card in the deck of cards? Now, if, you're, if you're playing, what, do you know, what was a good card normally you want? Ace is good. Ace is good? Okay, so let's go once, twice, three times, and four. Let's go find all four aces just like that. <laughs> so let's take the four, right? The red, black, red, black, all right? Take them like so. And if we do this, let's try something a little bit different. Let's put all these off the table for now. We'll use these four. So it's red, black, red, black, right? So let's mix them up. So they're red, black, red, black. And I'm gonna have you pay attention to these, all right? So basically the top card is what? A red, ace of hearts. hearts. So that's gonna go here. And the bottom card is a red, ace of diamonds. diamonds. We got that, right? So red, ace, hearts, diamonds, and then clubs and spades are black, red, correct? Yep. yep. There you go. That's it. Did you see it? No. It was the magic of El Cid. Do you see that? No. <laughs> so what color are these? Red. No. See, those are the black ones, see right there. And the reds are right here, see? Let me go a little slower for you, Tim. Um, let's try this, let's do this here. So let's, um, let's do this just for the heck of it. Another good card in the deck are, are pitcher cards, right? Pitcher cards are good, jacks, king of spoons. Um, jacks, 
Jack's good, right? Jack's good. So I think they're in the middle. They're about 23rd and 24th down in the middle. Because you know deck cards has how many cards? How many cards? 52. 52, right? So about 24th, 25th, like that. That should be the two Jacks. Yeah, two Jacks. <laughs> so now there's two more Jacks in the deck, right? So I've got to find two more. Let's do this. Like that. That's it right there. I spit. The jack on, let's see, there's Jack Klesi, I did that, that was that one. And then this is the best one, two of spades. Now, two of spades in Mexico, I didn't realize this, you guys may not know this, but the two of spades in Mexico at all the casinos is actually the jack of spades. Do you know that? Did they not tell you that? Yeah, yeah. You don't believe me? Watch, you take this, watch really carefully. The two, and you go like that, there's your jack of spades like that. Same. So let's try something a little different, though. So uh, there's red and black, so which color do you want us to use, red or black? Red. Red, so we'll put that in there. Put that in here, right? Just like so. We'll cut that into the deck. Like that. Okay. Cut it one more time. Just like that. Why? Because I can. Um, that's why we're doing it. Like that. See, there you go. So now there's that. Now we're going to do something. I'm going to have you touch any card you want, but don't look at it. Just touch any card. That one. Okay. Don't look at it. So that card, put on top of one of the jacks without looking at it. Just put on top of one of them. Great. And put the other jack on top. You know what you just made? Jack sandwich. Correct. Yes, you have. Not very healthy, but you've made it. So we cut the deck a couple times, like say once, twice like that. And let's do this. Let's say stop whenever. Stop. Good. Do you want that card or this card? I'll take the card on top. Have a look at it. Show the camera. Show everyone else. Make sure they know what the card is. Make sure I don't know what it is, though. All right. Yeah. Got to put it down so I can't see it. I'm going to put it basically on top, the bottom of the deck. So that's the card you chose, correct? Yes. I'm going to cut the deck in half like this. I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to try to find your Jack sandwich, all right? Okay. Which is... Let's see, that's the jack sandwich here. Now, you never looked at this card, correct? Oh, we're going to leave that there. I'm going to put these all together. I'm going to try to find your card, okay? So this card you never looked at, but the card that you looked at was what? What was the card that you chose that you looked the at? Four of diamonds. Four of diamonds? Okay, so it's not the six of hearts. That'd be really cool, though, wouldn't it? Wow, he's really good, right? Oh, my goodness. So let's see if we can find. That's not, no, that's not yours. It's not. What was it again, the four of diamonds? Four diamonds. So not the ace of, no? no? And not the ace of hearts, no? no? You're sure? Yeah. And not the ace of, no? no. And not that, no? no. Was it four diamonds? Yeah. That was the first card you picked right here. Shut up. <laughs> okay, we'll try it one more time. So the four diamonds, so we know what card you picked, right? Sure. So take that and say stop whenever you want. Stop. Put the card down. Okay, so it's four diamonds. Now you can't forget it, right? right? You know what the card is? All right. So like this, I'm going to shuffle the cards a few times just like this. Then we put one card in the bottom and one card in the top, the jack. So I predict that your four diamonds is in between the two jacks. It's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can do comedy too. Watch one, two, three. That's it. There you go. Check this out. Between the two jacks, right? Mm -hmm. That's not your card, though. It's a four dimes, all right? And that's not your card, right? No, and that's not. And these, not here, not there. It's not here. It's not there and there, right? No. So I said between the two, right? No way. No way. There you go. <laughs> 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 yeah, right, exactly. So there you go.